to my blog. I've arrived in Turkey and this is my preparation for Q school in a couple of weeks. It starts two weeks tomorrow. So instead of the rubbish weather back home, I thought I'd fly out to Turkey. I've got six days out here. So myself and Dan Whitaker and James Thompson, my PT, we've come up with a plan for the six days to get myself prepped as best I can. The reason I came out here, look at that sky, it's amazing. Facilities are fantastic as well. This is the Tia Antali Golf Club. And I'm just doing a little bit of light evening work on the putting green. So this is the reason I'm doing a little blog, just to show the journey and the work that I'm putting in. So every day I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm working at, nothing too major. And then obviously when I get down to Spain, I'll talk about my rounds and my preparation and things like that. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. So day one at Antalya Academy, Golf Mad Academy. So I started at the gym this morning, really good. Bit of mindfulness work, 20 minutes on that. And then me and Whitaker have basically sat down, looked at my stats and looked at the parts of the game I really need to improve for Q school. So one that really flagged up was 40 to 70 yards, that awkward pitching distance. So I did some work on that this morning then just did loads of testing and I had to score above 90 on a trackman test before I could leave. Anyway I managed to get 91 on about my 12th go but I could really feel those numbers getting dialed in. Just had some lunch, come back and I know the worst part of my game is my long iron play. So again I've just spent a good 20 minutes working on the swing and then just been testing for fun. And I find when I take a good divot and compress it properly, I get the flight that I want. So I've just managed to get 91 there on a trackman test as well. So that's that one done. So we're going to head to the putting green, do a bit of capto work, and then do a bit of strokes gain testing. And then that's me done for the day. Sunday the 30th of October, another gorgeous day. Uh, done my gym work, done my meditation. So today is all about short game. Uh, it's a part of the game that is pretty good, but I know it can still get better. You know, those tricky little up and downs that just keep you round going, or the up and downs for birdie or chippings, you know, they make such an important difference. So all morning, got about three hours to work on short games so I'm just all different lies different flights uh, and a lot of bunker play it's something I've not practiced for a while my bunker play and then this afternoon a uh, little bit of swing work and then I'm gonna go and play nine holes and really test myself so again I'll do another video on the course but yeah this morning is dedicated all to short game right as you can see I'm on the golf course I'm on the PJ Sultan it's the tougher of the two courses here at Antalya so I'm just playing nine holes. So what I'm gonna do, try and make it a little bit more difficult for myself. I'm playing two ball, worst ball. So you hit two balls off the tee and you have to keep playing the worst shot. So I managed to make part of the first, which is a really strong hole. Hit the fairway with both my tee shots and hit the green with both my approaches and then two putted them both. But I'm also doing uh, bogey avoidance as well. So what that is, is a five foot putt, a 50 foot putt and an up and down. So I hold the five footer, 
I two putted the 50 footer and I upped and downed it. So I made par in my two ball worst ball and I'm level par for my up and downs as well. So I'm gonna do that on all the holes. The up and downs, I'm gonna do three off the fairway, three out the rough and three out of a bunker. So I'll let you know how I get on at the end of the round. Right, this is where this game sucks. I'm on the sixth. I've hit my second shot to there, but I hit my first shot to there from 206. So I've got to hit both putts from there. Right, finished. Nine holes, that was really difficult. Um, two ball, worst ball, I shot three over. Made a couple of silly errors on par fives, bogeyed both par fives. So there's something to learn from there. Um, and then the bogey avoidance, the five footers, I only made four out of nine which isn't good enough. Uh, 50 feet, I two putted seven out of nine, which is pretty good. And then my up and downs, three from rough, three from fairway, three from bunker. I made eight out of nine, which is really good. I'm really pleased with that. So I'm just gonna do a little 40 minutes on those five footers with my cap toe. Here we are, another gorgeous day at Antalya. So last day of October. Um, so yesterday, the on-course work that I did, five footers really flagged up. So I've got my cap toe set up on my putter and I've got my little station and there, there are my numbers there. Uh, yeah, there we go. So that just shows me what the putter's doing. So basically, I know I get a little bit from the inside and kind of push my putts. So I'm looking for a bit more of a neutral path now. So I hit five putts. So I've got five footers there to that hole. I'm just hitting five putts and then I go off and try and replicate it without the station. No more than five putts. It's just the best way to practice. I could stand there all day hitting five footers after five footers on the uh, alignment stick that I've got and just not then replicate it on the course. So hitting five putts and then going away and replicating it is the best way. So I'm gonna spend about an hour, hour and a half on here. And then I'm gonna go and do some driving work. Um, so I'll talk about that when I get on the range. So I just wanna talk you through the driving tests that I did on myself. So as you can see, the top of the picture, you've got 20 yards. That's a 20 yard wide fairway and you've got 10 yards either side. So if you hit it in that 20 yards, you get a point. If you hit it in the 10 yards either side, you get half a point and anything else is minus half a point. So the goal is with your two iron to get six points, with your three wood to get five points and with your driver to get four points. So as you can see, two iron, I completed that first go. I was pleased with that, especially strong finish, four in the middle to finish off with that. And then first three wood, uh, I only got four points. So that was a fail. But then I changed the head. I've got another head. So I tried a new head on the three wood and I got six and a half points. It just flew a lot more consistent, a lot straighter. The first one was just lack of spin, just dipping out the sky a bit. And then I did it with my driver. 
Um, and I only missed one of the 40 yard wide fairways with my driver and that was only by a yard so not too bad and I scored five and a half points so really good it just tests you where you're at with your drive with your driving iron your three wood and your driver so really good I'm pleased with that and then I took it out into the course and, and played nice with it Right, this is my last full day. Um, it's been so productive so far. But yesterday, I literally hit a brick wall. I played nine holes, last two holes, I limped home. I was so tired, because obviously I've not put in nine, 10, 11 hour days like this for a long time. But it's good, I always listen to my body. So I called it a day yesterday, and then had a really easy morning this morning, just did a few warm up exercises and I'm just doing a little bit more pitching today, not putting the body to, through too much stress. Get it warmed up properly, and then I'm gonna do a few tests. Uh, mid iron tests, short iron tests today, 100 to 150, I've not done any this week, and then the long iron tests again. Um, and then a bit of short game, and then I'll see how I feel this afternoon. I fancy playing nine holes, but I might just do even more testing, work on a bit of strike and a bit of putting. But yeah, last day, I'll be sorry to leave. You know, like you can see the weather's been great and it's been such a productive four or five days as well. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed the videos and I'll keep, I'll put a few more up of what I'm doing this afternoon. Well, that's it, on my way home. Uh, excited to get home, get down to Spain, but it's been such an amazing trip. Really loved every minute of it. Uh, thank you to everyone at Antalya Golf Club. You know, it's amazing. Golf Mad Academy, Ed, Becca, Ahmed, you know, get so well looked after. So thank you for everything. And uh, I hope I can do you all proud at Q School. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll see how we get on.